Let's bring you some breaking news now. And the former South African president, Jacob Zuma, has been found guilty of contempt of court and has been sentenced to 15 months in jail. The country's top court issued the ruling on Tuesday. That's after he failed to appear before an inquiry investigating corruption during his time in office. The commission has been hearing allegations the wealthy Gupta family used its friendship with Zuma to win government contracts and influence policy. Mr Zuma is no ordinary litigant. He is the former president of the Republic of South Africa who continues to wield significant political influence and in whom lies a great deal of power to incite others to similarly defy court orders. His actions and any consequences or lack thereof are being closely observed by the public. So if his conduct is met with impunity, he will do significant damage to the rule of law. The unique political position that Mr. Zuma enjoys as the former president constitutes a further exceptional feature of this matter that justifies a punitive sanction. Well, let's speak now to Fumida Miller, who joins us from Johannesburg. Uh, Fumida, it's an extraordinary sentence handed down there to the former president. Uh, just explain to us what's happened. And it certainly is shocking for many South Africans, uh, depending on whether they support Jacob Zuma or not. Um, I think it's unprecedented either way, uh, especially given some of the statements the former president has made in recent months. Um, up to this stage, the former president had been compelled to uh, testify at a commission of inquiry into corruption in South Africa. And as you mentioned, to do with his relationship with a specific family that appear to have power in terms of the appointment of ministers and, um, and, and, and government decisions that affected contracts specifically, and allegedly they benefited uh, significantly from the, uh, these, these contracts. The commission is continuing. Zuma, however, appeared once in a two-year period. The second time, he left that commission, uh, refusing to testify for a number of reasons. And this is in the, the Zondo Commission then applied to the High the Constitutional Court to judge, make a judgment on whether or not Juma had defied the court and if he was in contempt. And this certainly appears to be the finding of the court. And if we look at some of what it said, uh, the, the Constitutional Court made judgment and said Zuma is vexatious, conduct reprehensible, it smacks of malice, and his arguments are bereft of supporting facts. The Constitutional Court in its judgment is clearly uh, quite angry with Zuma's conduct. And this certainly is about the supremacy of the rule of law, especially given the position that Zuma has held and the political influence that he continues to hold. And so Jacob Zuma is heading to jail then. I mean, this corruption inquiry, I assume, is still ongoing, but the former president's heading to jail. I mean, is he able to challenge this in any way or is the next time we see him going to be in some sort of orange jumpsuit? Well, that's, that's likely to be the scenario. This is the highest court in the land, the Constitutional Court. Um, it's an apex court and so he's not able to challenge that ruling. And this is specifically why that ruling is so astounding, given that this would be the first former president implicated in corruption and potentially heading to jail. Uh, we, we would have to hear from the National Prosecuting Authority uh, um, and, and, and about what happens next specifically, but we do know that this judgment can't be challenged and it can't be appealed. And, and tell us more just quickly, Fumida, about this ongoing corruption inquiry. I mean, how is that progressing? Is he likely to is he likely to face, if found guilty of corruption, any additional penalties? I think that is what's very interesting about this ruling today. The Zonda Commission of Inquiry is exactly that. It is um, upheld uh, by uh, by various laws in South Africa. But it is a, it's, a, it's an inquiry that doesn't necessarily have the ability to charge or try any of the people appearing there. Once the inquiry finishes um, its work, that report will be put together and recommendations put forward to the National Prosecuting Authority to then lay charges 
and take these particular issues forward. So many in South Africa have criticized the inquiry for being toothless, basically just being a forum where dirty laundry is being aired and nothing else. Given that the inquiry has now taken Zuma to the Constitutional Court and he is very much facing jail time, this is the first time we see a big move by the commission that has been criticized significantly in the past. And this would also be, while he's going, he might go to jail for contempt specifically and not corruption. This is a massive development in South Africa's fight against corruption. Okay, Famita Miller there bringing us the latest out of South Africa on that breaking news story. Famita, for now, thank you very much.